Well, friends, we continue in the book of Isaiah, and as we've been talking about this, we, we've mentioned that the prophets had these dual roles. One was to be prosecuting attorneys, particularly against Israel, but also the nations at times as well. So, so prosecuting attorneys, in other words, they're bringing up the fact of sin, and, and that's predominant in the section of Isaiah that we're in now. But the, the second role shows up as well. And that has to do with being bearers of good news, bringing good news, heralds of future good news. So that's wonderful. We, we see that in chapter 4, that the majority is about being heralds of good news. But the previous chapter was all about judgment uh, and... We, the only note of hope that we saw there was tell the righteous that it, it shall be well with them for they shall eat the fruit of their deeds. So, you know, that that's what you had to cling to. Now, in this judgment that we saw in the previous um, chapter, it was not only against the people in general or against the leaders, but in particular the daughters of Zion, the women, were mentioned. And we continue with this idea and in the beginning of chapter 4. In, in just the first verse, it says, And seven women shall take hold of one man in that day, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own clothes. Only let us be called by your name. Take away our reproach. So you have women who are begging to be somehow associated with a man, uh, seven women pleading with one man, please let, let us be called your wife, protect us in some way. And by the way, we'll, we'll provide for ourselves. So this, this is such a, a sad moment and such a, a difference from before when people were glancing wantonly with their eyes, mincing along as they go, tinkling with their feet. You know, the idea is the daughter of, daughters of Zion had been full of luxury, but now they're not at all, and they're just looking to survive. Then we abruptly shift, and we get into this heralds of good news again. Listen to this. In that day, some future day, and often, often a future era is introduced by these words, in that day, the branch of the Lord shall be beautiful and glorious. See, the idea that the Lord's people might be somehow a planting of the Lord, a branch, a tree, a vineyard, uh, that, that idea is prominent throughout the Bible. And this, this st statement, announcement here, is about the beauty and glory of the branch of the Lord. That's really great news. And the fruit of the land shall be the pride and honor of the survivors of Israel. So we're talking about the land, but much more we're really talking about the people. So a, a good day is coming. And he who is left in Zion and remains in Jerusalem will be called holy. This idea of separate but also special, dedicated to the Lord, holy. Everyone who has been recorded for life in Jerusalem, the idea now of names in a book that, that are in the community of God, part of the planting of the Lord, part of Israel, when the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and cleansed the bloodstains of Jerusalem from its midst by a spirit of judgment and by a spirit of burning. They're going to go through judgment, but then there's some day ahead. This is the, the herald's message. The Lord will create over the whole site of Mount Zion and over her assemblies a cloud by day and smoke and the shining of a flaming fire by night for over all the glory there will be a canopy. There will be a booth for shade by day from the heat and for a refuge and a shelter from the storm and rain. So remember, we started out with the women, seven women begging one man, oh, please let us be somehow associated with your name. And now here God is saying, no, my name will be over you. 
My presence will be there. I will be the husband for my people. You won't be disgraced any, anymore, but no, you'll be the beautiful planting of the Lord. It's a, it's a great vision, a great hope, and we, we cling to that now. We have much more information about it, given that our husband has come, that God himself, God the Son, has come and claimed us as his bride. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful hope that is ours. And Lord, we, we will receive whatever correction you have for us today with joyful hearts, knowing that our hope is sure in Jesus. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings, friends.